In this video, I am going to show you how to find resultant of three-dimensional concurrent forces. I am going to solve this problem where we have a boom AE which is supported by three wires AB, AC and AD. The ends BCD of the wires are bolted to the ground and the tension in the wire AD is 252 newtons. We have to find the tension in the wires AB and AC so that the resultant of all the three forces acting at point A due to the tension in the wires is vertical. So first we set up the coordinate system and indicate in this diagram the forces acting at the point A of the boom. The blue colored forces are the forces due to the tension in the wires and these forces are acting at A. The resultant of all the three forces is the force R and this is vertical. The tension in this wire is known to be 252 newtons. So the first step that we are going to take is to write these three forces in vector form and for that we shall have to find out the unit vectors along the three directions. So the unit vector along AD is the position vector divided by the magnitude of the position vector. In other words, this is AD upon the magnitude of AD. And to find out the position vector AD, we walk from A to D and figure out how many units of x, y and z coordinates undergo change. So we go down by 12 units along minus y axis, 6 units along positive x axis and 4 units along positive z axis. So we have 6i minus 12j plus 4k and the denominator is the magnitude of this position vector and this gives us this result which is the unit vector and the unit vector times the magnitude of FAD will give us 18 times 6i minus 12j plus 4k as the force vector along AD. A similar exercise we do for forces FAC and FAB. The unit vector along AC is the position vector AC divided by the magnitude of the position vector AC and to find out the position vector we move from A to C and we go 12 units in minus y direction, 4 units in minus x direction and 3 units in positive z direction. So we get minus 4i minus 12j plus 3k the denominator is the magnitude of this vector and this gives us this result which is the unit vector along AC and this multiplied by the magnitude of the force FAC will give us this force in vector form. We do not know the magnitude of this force so it is an unknown quantity. Next we do a similar exercise for force FAB and we write the unit vector lambda AB along the line AB and to figure out that we walk from A to B, we go 12 units in minus y direction and 9 units in minus z direction therefore we get minus 12j minus 9k. The denominator is the magnitude of the position vector AB and that gives us this as unit vector and this multiplied by the magnitude of the force FAB will give us FAB in vector form. So we now have three equations and in these two equations we have FAC and FAB unknowns. To find the resultant of all the three forces we have to simply add these forces vectorially. Note that this is a vector equation. So we just write these the three force vectors in vector form 
and in the next step we club the i components together the j components together and the k components together so if r is rxi plus ryj plus rzk then this is rx this is ry and this is r z now if r is vertical then rx and rz must be zero therefore in the next step we'll equate these coefficients of i and coefficients of k to zero and work out the values of fac and fab so this coefficient we equate it to zero here and that gives us fac equal to 351 newtons so that's our answer and we equate this coefficient of k unit vector that is rz to zero and that gives us this expression note that we have already found fac equal to 351 newtons and that is what we have plugged in in place of fac here so there is only one unknown in this equation and that is fab and that works out to 255 newtons so this is the second answer and we are done so i hope you found this solution useful and in case you have any question please feel free to put them in the comment section below i shall be too pleased to answer them if you have liked the video please give your thumbs up and subscribe to the channel thank you